Okay, let's look at finding percentiles. Like here it says, calculate the 20th percentile of this data. I've already copied and pasted it over here. A percentile, if you think about it, quartile one is the 25th percentile. The median's the 50th percentile. Quartile three is the 75th. But sometimes you have different, like the 20th. Now, what's kind of weird in here is there is a percentile formula and you can highlight your data and you can tell it that you want the 20th, so 0 0.20 percentile. Notice the answer does not match the actual answer. What they're doing is an actual formula that you will count. And if you get an integer based on that count number, index number, then you average the two values. So what I probably would do to set up for you know the test or for later use, this isn't going to be an exact science because you're going to have to modify it, but I would, I would make a cell where you type in what percentile you want. I want 0 0.20. Now, if you put this in percent, then you're going to have to divide by 100, but that's all good. And then what you end up doing to find I is you multiply your percentile by how many samples you have. Okay, so what I would do is I would actually use the count formula. Now, if you drag this down far enough, it's only going to count how many values, and I can see it's 10, but it'll only count those that actually have numbers in the cells. So that would be something that I wouldn't have to change. Okay, the percentile I would, and this I wouldn't have to change because as I said, I'm going to take the percentile times my count, and that is my index number. If this is an integer, then what you do is you average this one and the one higher. So unfortunately, this would be something that you're going to have to manually do because I'm not gonna always get the 20th percentile, right? So if I do the average formula and I want the second and the third value, then you can see that's where I'm getting the 815. So if I said, well, let's try another one of these. I have new numbers, new numbers, my new numbers. And now I want the 30th percentile. Well, notice here it changed to three. So then I would, av if I can type average, one, two, three, the third and the fourth. Okay, so it's always the next one up, and I get 15.5, and I get my answer. So unfortunately, I mean, you can do some of this so you have it preset to continue to work, you know, many homework questions, but it's just that Excel and Google Sheets is being way too precise with their percentile formula. They don't give you this little formula that we use to just count and use the index.